Okay, you've completed your prereqs. Now, let's configure a community. Communities are branded spaces where you can connect to employees, customers, and partners. You can customize and create communities to deliver specific business applications and services, including identity. To get started, once again, go to Quick Find and type Communities. You'll see there's community settings. The first thing we need to do is enable them. Check this box, and here we get to pick a domain name. Much like your My Domain, communities get their own URL. Here we'll set up EID developer edition na 34forcecom but this is just a placeholder. In a real deployment, you might use a full custom SSL certificate in order to secure and fully brand your community. I'll check availability. Looks like it's available, so I'll click Save. Now that we've enabled communities, we need to create one. I'll click New Community, and we'll get taken to the Community Builder. Here I can choose a template. There are many templates available, some for self-service, some specifically for identity, or even a Visual Force one that lets you build custom applications. We're going to get started with the Aloha one. It works well for identity, it has a built-in app launcher, and it lets you customize the login pages and their brand. I'll go ahead and choose this. We'll give this a name. Why don't we call it Customer, since we're inviting our customers into our org. You can also have this on a path. You might have multiple paths, for instance, a community for customers, a community for partners, etc. Each one can have their own brand and own configuration. We'll click Create Community. That's it. Looks like our community's been set up. Let's go to Community Management. Time to start configuring our community. The first thing I'll do is go to Administration and look at Members. Now this is coarse-grained authorization for the community. These are the people that are allowed to enter the community. Any of your user types can enter a community. For instance, our system administrators are allowed. I'm going to look under Portal Users and find the customer profile that we created earlier. Why don't we add these to the allowed profiles? You can also authorize through permission sets if you'd like. I'll go ahead and save this. And now you'll see that our customers and system administrators are allowed to access this community. Next, let's take a look at login and registration. Let's start by customizing our logo. I'll choose a file and go ahead and pull in our fixed logo. I might say that the footer on this page is fix coffee. And we're going to go ahead with our default login page with username and password. Let's just save this and see how things look so far. If I pull up a new incognito window and take a look at our community, you'll see it's branded with our logo. Okay, that's a good start, but not really what we're going for. Let's check out Community Builder. Use this launch button to kick it off. Once inside Community Builder, you'll see that we load up the app launcher. Since we don't have any connected apps yet, it's not a terribly interesting page. Let's start by looking at our login page. You'll see we've created a default login page for you that you can easily brand using Community Builder. Why don't we clear this background out and upload our own background image? Mm, cups on a table looks good. We'll upload this. Hey, look at that. It's already starting to look like our own coffee brand. I might choose to customize our button colors. Perhaps we want a card in the background. And maybe we want to change our font color. White's good, but I think it'll show up a little better if we have black on this page. Okay, that's it. We've pretty quickly built a login page. This login page is responsive, so we can see what it looks like on the phone. It's on a tablet, or it's on a desktop. We can also see how this applies to things such as a self-registration page. Looks like our brand will carry forward nicely. Let's go ahead and publish this. So we'll hit publish. Behind the scenes, we're pushing this out to our community. Okay. And let's close this and exit back to community management. There's one more thing we would need to do. Let's go back into login and registration. We'll show you how to change your login page. So notice it's currently pointing at the default page. You can point this at a Visual Force page or the Community Builder page. Why don't we go ahead and select login from Community Builder and save this. Now if we switch back and reload our community, you'll notice that we're taken to our branded login page. And that's how easy it was to set up a branded login page. Pretty cool.